guys. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> wow. Am I going to make this a habit? I'm trying to. Um, I just want to pop in whenever I feel like it. And this morning, I feel like it. Wait, I think... <laughs> Here I am leaving you guys again, right? But I think I want to see if I have my coffee. I know I took a vitamin this morning, but I think I finished my coffee too. But anyway, hey, you guys, this is Miss D at D Special Thing. I was feeling irritated this morning for some reason. I think I was thinking about all the things that I had to do that I have not finished. I have not completed. I have started so many things. Um, and even with the crafting, I'm all over the place. I am doing gazillions of stuff, but I'm not completing anything. And right now I feel like I'm all over the place. Um, so I decided to, uh, yeah, and I think I feel anxious too because I just kind of snapped at my niece <sighs> for no reason whatsoever, I think. Yeah, I think so. I probably owe, owe her an apology because, and my sister too. I'm going to see what they say <laughs> when I apologize. No, from the bottom of my heart, I feel like I need to ab apologize to them because uh, I kind of snapped at them. And it was because I was irritated with, I think I woke up this morning and just looked around and thought about all the stuff I needed to do and had not finished. So this morning, I decided, hey, you guys, I was going to come and talk to you guys and just chat for a minute. And then I'm going to Walmart. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go to Walmart. I need boxes to send um, gifts out. I need batteries. I need to take some lights back to the store. I don't even know where the receipt is. So I, I got them from Big Lots. I don't know if they'll... Will Big Lots let you return stuff if you don't have the receipt? I mean, I, I could get more lights, but I don't need lights. One of them don't work. And then now I'm just thinking... I don't need any more lights <laughs> around my house, okay? <laughs> yeah, uh, I am going to put up, do the, the decorations for the front of my house. And I'll show you guys when I do that. Because I really want it to look like a winter wonderland. So when I do that, which I said I was going to do it today, but it's raining. I didn't, gosh, I read it all wrong. But. You guys, I had a video that I took shots of, you know, just did a video of my room right now, <laughs> the way it looks right now. <laughs> I should just show you guys, should I? Okay, let me see. I think, can I turn this camera? I don't even know if I could turn it around. I think if I hit it, it'll stop. No, I don't. I don't know how to do anything at this moment. <laughs> but I think I can turn it around, can I? I don't know. And I'm on my iPad, so what the <laughs> right? <laughs> Who I'm telling you know how you know that saying if you don't use it, you lose it. And I have not been doing videos for well, yes, I have been, but I haven't been uploading them or doing them for you guys. It's just that I wanted to just jump back into playing with you guys and chatting it up with you guys. And um, cause I, because I know it's been a minute since I've been on last. But uh, so I actually posted a couple of those videos. One was of my birthday. Well, it was my son visiting me on my birthday. I actually had a birthday party. And no, that was personal. I, wasn't. I should upload the happy birthday they did for me. Yeah. But anyway, yes, I had a great time. Um, and so I shared that with you guys. Uh, but now I want to get back to my crafting. 
I think I mentioned to you all that, and, and I know some of you, for the most part, you all have seen Miss D, okay? I, th I still look kind of like my picture <laughs> for any new uh, subscribers, yeah. Welcome to Miss D Special Things, yeah. And um, gosh, I've just been out here playing for quite a while, just getting to know people, uh, collaborating with you all, just swapping the fun stuff that I remember so well and I miss, I miss, I miss. <laughs> I know, I sound like a broken record. But yeah, I've been crafting, um, but I have not had enough energy to just jump back into doing videos and uploading them. I, did, I wasn't there yet. And then... My son kept pushing me at it because he knew that was the last thing my husband kept telling me to do. And he kept saying, I just want her to start doing her videos again. And I would tell him, I am, and I'm going to do this. He said, you have so much fun. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. Um, I couldn't think about not doing what I would normally do because I was... Think about other things. I was in pain. I was hurting. I was feeling some kind of way, you know. Um, and I was really mad. To tell the honest and goodness truth, I was mad. I was mad at God because he gave me, and, and I understand that madness was, you know, uh, I don't care how much a Christian you are, a believer, or, you know, have faith or whatever. Um you get angry when when something that you really want is you know is taken away from you <sighs> and uh yeah i just had to understand that maybe i was in my husband's life when he needed me most um i know he was in my life when i needed him most so <sighs> okay, <clears throat> this is new to me. Um, it's been, what's this month, December? 11 months. It hasn't, it hasn't been a year. Um, oh, I did not feel like I wanted, maybe that's what the anger was about this morning because I really snapped at my niece for, and my, my sister too, and it was like, you know, it, it was like I had the audacity to stop them in their track because I wasn't feeling, <laughs> whoo, yeah, the nerve of me. I owe them an apology, but anyway, you guys, I, um, <laughs> I think I'm going to have an emotional day. Oh, this is where, you guys, and I know I'm all over the place, but this is where my busperone, that's the medicine. This is where my medicine is supposed to come in at. Um, and I know I'm all over the place, so you'll get the health stuff. You'll get the fun stuff I've been doing. You'll get the messy stuff. I'm going to talk to you today a little, you know, uh, about just some stuff <laughs> that's going on with D. But let me get myself together first, okay? Um, hopefully, that's the last emotional moment I have because I'm going to show you guys what I'm up against. And then hopefully the next video, because it won't be this one, um, I'll be able to... <laughs> I think I'm going to just insert that video after this. So you have to go to the end of this video and watch. It's only about three minutes. And yeah, I'll just clip it in there. Or I'll do a whole separate video and say, hey, you guys, look what I'm <laughs> dealing with. And I wanted to just take the camera and sit it up somewhere and let it record me. But And then I wanted to, you know, uh, how was it edited and da da da. I, I'm not there yet. <laughs> It sounds good in my head. I could speak it. I just can't do it. Yeah, I could do it. I just need to pause and, yeah, take my time and do it. What I do need to do is this entire room. 
over again because it's keeping me from coming in here. Um, the room is still exactly the same as it was when um, me and hubby was last in here. And, uh, yeah, it kept me from coming in here for all this time. So, finally, I'm in here. And I'd like to just take everything out and... <sighs> For the, for the most part, a lot of it may end up in my tiny house. <laughs> That's a whole nother story, you guys. Um, my tiny house is exactly what I, me and hubby talked about without the tiny house. <laughs> we were thinking garage, you guys. And um, we're just waiting around. Matter of fact, I think it was in November when he was, um, you know, when he had to have his surgery. Not, yeah, it was in November. And, um, yeah, so we had planned to do a lot of things. And me getting a garage, a larger garage than what, he had um, fixed for me with his garage because his garage was like a 15 by 20, I think. And he turned that into the she shed. And I, I know I posted pictures of what it looked like uh, when we last went in and I was working with it. And that was in 2022. None of 2023 was I in there. But um, all of 22, we both got sick. We both were going through, I was going through my, um, chemo treatment. I think that year in May was the last treatment, yeah, that I had. And then I had to go six months and then to see if I was in remission. And yeah, I was, um going through some stuff too. I, I don't want to keep going back. I keep going back without even realizing that's what I'm doing, you guys. <sighs> but, and, and I used to do, uh, I have some videos that I did when I was feeling bad or, and sometimes I know before when I was doing my chemo treatments and stuff, I tried doing them, doing videos, but sometimes I would get nauseous in the middle of, you know, and, and what, cut it off or whatever. So I just decided, um, you know, I'd wait until I could actually do a video without getting sick, you know? Um, so I think what it was is I did not want to, um, feel disappointed and not being able to do it. So I just didn't do it. I, just didn't try to do videos. And then too, I didn't know when I was in pain or not. I do still have neuropathy and I don't have good balance yet because it affects my feet and my hands. Um, I know, right? So I'm pushing it every chance I get. And that is part of me, for me, my therapy when I do crafting. And like I said, I craft all the time. I'm trying to find easier ways of doing things um, so that I could continue to do them. Um, I purchase other tools or simple tools because I have to use my hands. I need to use my fingers. I need that sensation to go away. I need that feeling to get out of my fingers. Yeah, and it's there 24-7. Uh, and sometimes, just like my feet, I have to actually wear shoes that allows me to feel the bottom of my feet so that I could, for one, continue to drive. <laughs> if uh, I could not feel that pedal, or I wouldn't know, you know, if I'm pressing on it or not. So I don't drive a lot of times unless I just absolutely have to. Now, I am getting better about getting in the car and doing whatever. But um, <laughs> I remember one day not too long ago, and I know I probably shouldn't tell you guys my uh, little secrets. 
<laughs> they're not secrets. These are episodes. I only had one, really. <laughs> and I went to Marshall's because I just needed to do some shopping. And I think because I stay in the house a lot, even though, you know, I have visitors. Um, not a lot of visitors, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I do have visitors at my house, but for the most part, I'm here. You know, I'm here. And I'm always doing something. I can't stay still. I have always been like this. And I've always been at a high, I've always had a high level of energy. That's why I can't take that buspirone. I know I'm coming way back to this story. Uh, the medicine that the doctor gave me for anxiety. And the first time I took it, it was like, I think I was more anxious than I was before I took the medicine. So I called the nurse and I asked her, wait a minute, um, this medicine has me so out of sorts. Am I supposed to feel like this? I'm, I feel so anxious. I feel like I can't slow down. I, I'm, I'm just trying to do everything. You know, my heart is pounding. What the hell? <laughs> but she said, okay. Uh, sometimes it can make you feel more anxious than not. So she told me that if, you know, it will calm itself down. If it didn't, you know, um, then, you know, either call back or go to the hospital, right? Well, I had to calm myself down. I know I have stories to tell you guys, right? But I had to learn to calm myself down versus taking that busperone because and then she told me you know you could take a half of the pill well uh -uh. i did try that i have only taken maybe a few of those pills uh since i've had them and i think that he prescribed them to me um after my husband passed in january and i think that's when i first when i had well that's not when i first had an anxiety attack but uh, that's when I had a full-blown anxiety attack, and it scared the bejeebles out of me, I know. But anyway, yeah, so I'm dealing with a lot of stuff that I was not dealing with <laughs> uh, years ago, you know. When you say, like, things change, prayer changes everything, yes, because things do change. Nothing remains the same. So right now, Miss D is getting back to crafting. Hey, you guys, <laughs> I need to show you guys something. I need to show y'all this. Wait, can I? Let me see if I could show you guys without y'all seeing me. I, I don't want y'all to see me, okay? Let me see. Oops, I'm sorry. Let me see if I could show you guys this. I want to make a... I may as well show you on this side, this way. Oh, I don't know how to make this thing these things come back what is it but i don't know how to flip my camera other than turning it around and i don't think you should have to turn your camera around all right i am honestly i said that i promised myself about two hours a day whether it be one hour in the daytime and one hour at night when i was trying to calm myself down that i was going to go and take some kind of class you guys, I have Canva. I have, is that Film Fourth or Fourth Film? I don't even know the name of the application and I have it and I'm paying for it. And I'm, what? <laughs> I have, okay. You know what? I'm not even going to tell you guys because it is it's crazy that I don't know how to use these applications and I purchased them just for that reason. But look, you guys, I was in the store one day and it was during the Black Friday. Is it Black Friday? Yeah. The Black Friday uh, <laughs> yeah, weekend. And I saw this. You see these? Let me show you guys. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. You see these? These right here? Okay, so the crates. Yeah. The bins. Okay, I want to show you guys something. I know y'all know what I'm going to say, right? It's a dollhouse. <laughs> if you flip it upside down and make this part the roof, 
It's a two-story dollhouse, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a miniature. I'm, You know what, you guys? That has got to be the neatest thing. So right now I have, I think I, I bought one that day that I saw it. And it was on sale for $14.99. I don't know what store I bought it. At. I may have purchased it from Target, I think. And then I thought to myself, Hey, go to Michael's because that's Michael's habit. Because first, I think I was in Joanne's when I asked the lady if they had any. And she said, no, Michael's will probably be your best bet for, you know, that kind of wood. Because we only have, and she showed me what they had, right? Which was limited. So I went to Michael's. And not only did they have them, they had a sale. And theirs was $14.99 too, so I bought those too. But that particular day, they had a percentage off of it. So I didn't even pay $14.99 for those, I don't think. Or I used the 25% off total regular stuff. I don't know what I did, but I know I only paid like not half price for it almost. And I'm going to make the... <laughs> that is so exciting. That is a dollhouse. And I know people said, Miss D, you're slow. <laughs> we knew that. Yeah, well, I'm going to have a wood working or, you know, station. Yeah, and I'm going to make little miniatures cause, because I need to work with my hands. I need to work with my hands. I constantly use my hands because they hurt. <laughs> they feel better when I'm pressing them. Yeah, but I have a mess in here and... I'll take a few snapshots even and stick it in this video. Uh, I might. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Yeah, this is a mess right here. But I'm going to come back when I do clean it up because I, I need to rearrange this entire room so that I'm feeling good about just being in here and... <sighs> I'm not feeling some kind of way. Now, I don't even know what I was talking to you guys. Oh, about the little house. The, yeah, so I am going to have a wood work, a wood station in my she shed. So I can, because I have all the tools and everything, the little teeny circular, mini circular saws. And I bought, I purchased this kit and it's by, is it by Works? W-O-R-X. I'm going to have to show you all of my tools and stuff that I've, gotten over time to do these little projects but uh yeah <laughs> i've just been having fun and putting stuff down and picking it up and putting it down now I, going back to the she shed that my husband uh, uh built for me well he didn't build it he turned it into his it was his garage um in 22 you know, because we were both, we both were sick. We were going through, um, and I was still buying stuff because I was going for treatments and, and, you know, just a happy day. Sometimes I would go shopping or even grocery shopping. I would always go grocery shopping on that day because it would allow me to get out, do what I need to do. Though I would last no longer than about an hour after my treatments, um, it would give me enough time to go shopping and, you know, sometimes I go to Target or, you know, we'll go to Michael's or wherever. But I would never get to the, or sometimes I wouldn't get to the second store. But when I did, that was like, wow, I did all this today. But anyway, so as I was purchasing things and even Amazon, Amazon was at my door three, four times a month in one day. Yeah. So all of that stuff, I, I was concerned about it being in the house and the house was getting filled with craft stuff. And I don't know if I mentioned to you all before, I live in a tiny house. I live in a less than 1,000 square feet house. I have three bedrooms, one bath, <laughs> living room, kitchen, dining room. That, and it is, the house is actually a year older than I am. Yeah, the house was built in 1955. 
I like it because it is one of those little cottages that I always said I wanted to change into a craft house. And believe me, you, I think I have it pretty much set up like a craft house. And yes, uh, and I was trying to accomplish that out in the front with my winter wonderland. And I love it. And it's coming together. I'm not finished. Uh, and I want to include the front of my house. Uh, too, because I do have, I am going to decorate the front, but not to the extent that I was. I don't think I want to put all those lights up, because then I'm going to have to take all those lights down. But anywho, I am, I'm going to finish decorating, because I don't know when I'll be headed out of town, because I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, I've had blessing on top of blessing on top of blessing, in midst of everything that's been going on in my life. Um... I become a great grandmother this year. Matter of fact, in probably the next couple of weeks. Great. I am a great nana. I don't know. You know, until you get to this stage, do you even understand what that means? And yes, I am a great grandmother. Or soon to be, I'm just waiting. My granddaughter is having a baby, a little girl. Yeah, so anyway, yes, I, I've been tremendously blessed, you know, um, and I, I know that. I do know that. And let's see, this year, my daughter purchased her own, you know, her home. Um, nothing but blessings for all around me. And I had to look back at my life to see you know where I was where I was not only I mean this mentally yeah how was I doing I, I ask myself that question all the time because I want to make sure you know it's not always a facade you know sometimes you have to feel how you feel you know and uh I, I like my private self you know i like my private life i i guess it became easier once i did uh detach myself from people you know once i just went ahead and let myself go through whatever i was going through um and not involve so many people in my life but at the same time i understood that as your life go on, so does other people, you know? So I had, I understood that people were going through and for some people I lost that connection. And I think that, I don't know if you could hear me. Could y'all hear me? I'm just rambling on. And I know me sitting here just talking to you, probably saying, look, lady, we hear you, but we can't see you, so it doesn't matter. No, but I I used to just show my hands anyway. Um, when you know, if I put my camera down here, but my desk is dirty. When I come back, hopefully I'll have it cleaned off. This is a this is what my room used to look like. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that there. I know I am right now because I got a lot going on. So yeah, that'll pro that'll stay. That'll mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. But anyway, it's a, I have a lot going on right now. So um, sometimes it's easier to just stay to yourself. And uh, hi, Miss Lisa. I know I've spoken with, with Miss Lisa on quite a few occasions. Um, I'm waiting for her to take that trip to, where is it? <laughs> um, I know I said that, Ikea. Is it Ikea? No, it's not Ikea, because I could order online from Ikea. I could, Hobby Lobby, I could order online from my Hobby Lobby, and I have. But, you guys, you know what? I ordered some of the Erin Condren planners, because when I find something that I like, and I know I will use it, let me, let me get one of those planners. Hold on. And... And 
yeah, here it is. I know. I'm not gonna still let y'all see me. <laughs> here is the here is the planner. And it has I it's is uh undated. And I like it because it works any way you want it to work. And it has you know, you you yeah. I like this because it's versatile. You can use it for anything. So I wanted it to use it as a planner on a personal level, as a planner for my craft and stuff. So I purchased the four that they had. And this was during the Black Friday. Was I by myself? I think, I think on both days I ended up shopping by myself. It took me two days because the first day, I went and I went to Marshall's and came back home because, yeah. And then the next day I went, I went to Marshall's, I went to Burlington, and I went to Walmart. And that's when I ran into my niece. And then we found out my sister and her daughter, my other niece, was over at Marshall's. So we went over there playing with them and stuff. They were shopping too. <laughs> That was a fun day for me. And then I just came on back home. And uh, yeah, I spent the rest of my day at home. But I've been crafting, you guys. I uh, I just, oh, I remember when I made this little book. Look at that little ballerina slipper. This is a, oh, I think this was a challenge of some kind. Let's see. Oh, wait, it's not even, oh. Uh, Oh, look how cute. Oh, this is my stuff. <laughs> this is not just lace. This is paper. I think this was a challenge. Oh, look at there. I need to do more stuff like this. Oh, how pretty is that? This was a challenge, you guys. Um, Yeah, I remember that. But anyway... I want to start doing stuff like that again and then just sending them to people. This was probably a prototype of mine. But look, look, wait. <laughs> I got to show y'all something on here. I'm trying to put it back. Do you know that's sitting on... Oops, I'm getting ready to tear up the... I shouldn't have put it, pulled it on there that way. You know, I got a lot of stuff that I made. I should give them away as prizes and stuff. Um, that I made over the years, because it, it, especially if I change my room around in here, I don't know if I'm going to just make it more of just a computer office room or have all this stuff. I like all this. I need to have this kind of stuff around me. But do you see that? It's on one of those pebbles, those clear rocks, flat back, Dollar Tree kind of rocks. How cute is that? I made this and I'm acting like I'm ama I'm amazed at. And it's back. I put even backed it with paper. How cute. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna make more stuff like this and send it to people I like this kind of stuff. I think people should get gifts like this forever, always. Especially if it's for a crafter. They would use those pins and stuff inside there. I want to start making pins and stuff. Oh, another person that I, you know what? The last person that I said I talked to as far as YouTube was Angie Bell. Um, Angie Bell Treasures. Treasure. You know who Angie Bell. You know who, who I'm talking about. I, thank you, lady. Because uh, every now and then you would pop up in my feed and I would click on your videos and you would be live or something like that. And I know a couple of times I actually dropped in and said, oh, you make it, you're going to make me try that. And uh, I really wanted to. And at that moment, I felt like I could. I felt like you were doing art journaling and I forget what it was. You were showing how, I forget which techniques you were using, but you were showing the techniques as you did it. You were actually doing an online um yeah, project. But anyway, and I kept saying, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. As much as I wanted to, I just, even when I played with my inks and my paints and stuff, I would never do a video doing it. Um, yeah, but lately, here over the months and the years, I have found it easier to order stuff 
and then organize it and then put it in the corner and then put it out in the she shed and back to the she shed my husband built for me that's what's in the middle of the aisles that she shed look exactly like the pictures that i showed in the she shed 2022 video that's what that she shed looks like out there except my aisles all the way around are totally filled with stuff that i purchased yeah I mean, I was going to say uh, stuff that I put in there, but I purchased it. Yeah, and, and I, but I think a lot of my Christmas stuff is in there, too, because, yeah, I have long stories to tell you guys, and I'm not going to keep you off forever because this is going into 35 minutes. But these are the com kind of conversations that I'll probably have with you. I just have to figure out where to put my camera when I'm sitting here talking to you guys because... I really can put it over there and just sit and talk to you. But I don't think it moves <laughs> when I'm in the movie setting. How does M2 work, you guys? Because when I'm on the phone chit-chatting with my uh, nieces or my sisters, it follows me. My camera follows me wherever I go in my house. It follows me, you know? Um, yeah, so why doesn't it do it? when i'm just doing a video but anyway you guys i'm gonna sign off on here i just wanted to uh come and holler at you guys and say hey you guys and probably show you some of the projects i know i don't know if i did the video yet but i showed you i think the village that i wanted to um put together and once i do that i'm going to show you guys that so that will be a project but i'm also going to show you because I was talking about the planners. Let me tell you, I showed you guys the planners and told you guys that they were a good deal. Well, during the Black Friday, I know, you see how I went right back to that? Because I forgot something. Um, <laughs> I know. I, uh, Black Friday weekend. Yeah, so I went to Joann's and they had them on sale for... 50% off, and then you use some kind of discount. You got a discount on top of it, so it could have been 60% off. But I ended up paying $9 and some change for it because they were um, $21.99 each. So they only had four of the unplanned ones. They're called Inspired. They're, I mean, not unplanned, undated. Um, they, they had four of those, so... I went ahead and purchased those, and then I came home, and I ordered about 10 more. Okay, so they charged me. This was like that weekend of, yeah, the 20-something. It was right after, yeah, it was 24th or the 25th, I think it was. And I came, and I ordered them offline because they had the same sale online. And they, you know, I went through PayPal. But I don't even, and I show that it's still pending in my PayPal. And they said as soon as it's, it's like they they hold that, uh, put a hold on it for authorization until they send it. But don't they only do that for so many days before they have to charge you again? Or does it just sit there? Or where the hell is my package? <laughs> and did they forget to place the order? Because I got a confirmation from Joanne's. But nothing else. Um, I don't know how that works, so I'll wait. But I'll let you guys know if I ever get that package. But I'm going to keep an eye on it because they have not actually charged me for it. They have actually... Uh, it's pending. Yeah, so they are holding that money. But, yeah, I'm going to see how that works out, you know. But anyway, I thought they normally send you an email and tell you what the status of your product is if you don't hear from them in 72 hours at least gosh that's been since thanksgiving weekend but anyway you guys on that note and i keep saying this and this is how i talk with my sisters <laughs> after you say i'm leaving about 15 times before you actually leave but 
for real, for real. On that note, I'm going to do another video today, and I don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna be a how to video or if it's gonna show you what I'm doing to put my village together. Because now that I showed you that, I gotta put this up because I'm gonna have to make some cute. Those are cute little gifts that could have been gifts this year. But anyway, yeah, I'm not mine, and I could have used something different for all of the uh, little things that I put on the corner and they didn't it doesn't necessarily have to be for oh my gosh you guys this doesn't have to be for pins and stuff like that I have 50,000 stickers and papers and little that I've gotten from Timu I'm going to do some books like this. I'm going to show y'all when I do them. That right there is a good idea. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do them with the stickers. It'll be a sticker kind of book, but I'm going to do it with the lace. And, oh, my gosh, look. Lace and, yeah, and I know this has to be, gosh, I get to show you guys a lot of stuff. This has to be the gazillion time I said I was leaving. But, look, I could make them with these. The crochet lace. And then they have bigger ones. This, These are this size. And then, do I have even bigger ones in the cloth? Are those bigger? I don't know if they're bigger. I got all of these from Amazon, and they were not even that much. And I got so many these, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> But then I got bunches of these, this lace, and I got so many of these, too. You guys, when I tell you I'm going to have the biggest, I know a lot of people got these, and maybe not. I'll have to put it out there and see. I know there's going to be loads and loads of, of people that are just crafting. Every year you get more new people crafting and stuff. I need to put a bunch of these together as kits so that... People don't have to pay a million dollars just to get supplies that they need. They can get the whole kit, everything together. And you that's how you're buying stuff from these uh, online companies, a lot of them anyway. But because I have all this stuff and I know it's no way possible I'll be able to use it all, I can offer it off to my subscribers or people that are affiliated with the crafting arena and they want stuff. Yeah. Um I, I did say when I originally moved here, I said that was, was going to be what I had started doing. But then I got caught up in, in doing house stuff and I was newlywed. And yeah, then, you know, things changed and both me and my husband were, you know, tending to each other. And yeah, so now because I never stopped collecting, i am got to gotta say it honestly i am a collector of craft things and some things i have not used i want to do that i want to use it some things oh i know it is i could even over the years that i've had it it's vintage now because some of it is over 20 years old but anyway you guys i am going to um yeah go ahead and make this a video and was i going to show you on something I don't think so, but, um, yeah, I showed it, <laughs> the lace, I showed you the lace, but yeah, I'm going to make one of these for stickers and stuff, oh, but I want to do it in the lace, all right, you guys, I am going to call this for real, for real this time, <laughs> a bye, and, uh, we'll holler later, all right, <laughs> I'm, I'm hanging up, you guys, this time, for real. <laughs> Love you guys.